Good morning everybody, how are you? Happy Sunday. 13th of September. How wonderful. And it's actually quite a nice day out there today. So we've got the um, woman walking the dog on the beach. I sent, I posted the thing up earlier and you can just about see my pale um, outline. So you'll have until about 10 past, quarter past, to um, sketch it out. Although there's not a huge amount. There's the, the horizon line. I've drawn where the wave is. And then all of this is going to be wet sand. So I hope you've been having a wonderful week and enjoying the weather and uh, you're gonna, uh, you've had a great weekend so far um, and this should hopefully give you a nice relaxing feel to the start of your Sunday. So I'll talk you through the colours shortly, which is just cadmium yellow, burnt sienna, ultramarine, cadmium red and Payne's grey. Just a simple colour. Interestingly enough, it's the same colour as I used on Thursday evening's watercolour class um, to create the metal object. I'll show you that. So, with um, one, you know, the same palette, we can make this or this. Although, to be honest, there's no Payne's Grey in this. This is all just ultramarine and burnt sienna to get the really dark bits with a bit of cadmium red. So it's interesting, isn't it, how the same colours can be used from this picture to create this picture. By the way, this is my most favourite painting I've ever done or taught. And I'm going to get it framed because I love it. I've just thrown it across the room. That's how much I love it. Oh, dear me. So it's going to be quite a nice, loose, a fairly loose painting, actually, with no detail. They're always the best kind of paintings, aren't they? Let's get my colours ready. I've got my tile. I've got my water jar. I've got my three brushes. So how are you doing? Got a couple of you joining me, that's lovely, I'm glad. So just a few lines, the figure and the dog, but I've drawn the reflection of the dog as well. Um, my painting does go a bit further down, uh, that is the top, um, but I'll move the camera down when we get to doing the, the dog bit.
have been alright. Morning Barry, thank you Sandra. I can't actually see who has joined us, so I'm glad you said hello. Croaky throat today. I thought I'd hope my hay fever was going to go, but it seems it's still here to play for a little bit longer. Oh no, I'm only back to back to two of you now. I think everybody's lives are so busy at the moment that uh, everyone's trying to get everything done nice and quickly. Um, just in case um, we all end up having to stop at home again. I don't think it'll come to that though. I'll give you I'll give you till nearly quarter to just to get yourself into the swing of things and into the zone of creating on a Sunday morning <coughs> it's a, a very it's a, just a weird time isn't it, it it's the, it, it's hard to believe that we're already in the second Sunday in September so yeah it is it is difficult to try and make sure you're up and at them at the right sort of time But I'm here. And you can watch it whenever you like, can't you? And that's what's great about these videos, is that you can um, you can paint whenever. <coughs> and I'm sure a few people will be doing their Sunday binge watch of the, our lessons. I've got the first conquer of the season as well, Jackie got me. She always brings me the first conquer she finds on her way to work every uh, every autumn. Excuse me for clearing my throat. I'm very croaky. Let's get the three brushes out and ready. Get them woken up a little bit. It's kind of loose today. It's a sort of splosh it on and a tidy it up afterwards kind of class.
is that straight? It look yeah, look, it is straight. I think it's just me and you today, Sandra. So it's burnt sienna, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, ultramarine, Payne's grey. Payne's grey is going to be useful because it means that we can do the dog and the figure a lot easier. Yeah, one-to-one -one tuition, just just for the time being. And I mean, yes, you have definitely got one-to-one -one tuition, but then when other people watch, they'll get tuition as well. But it's just me and you this morning. Right. So our sun is up here. So that's the bit that we need to keep lighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the whole page. Just wet it. I don't think my water line's straight, you know. I think that's what's throwing me this morning. I think I've got my sea running downhill. Anyway, let's just slosh the water on. Just got it all over my laptop. all over because there's a majority of a color that will stay and it will mean that we can um, work with it for the whole picture potentially you can do we could do this a lot quicker um, as it's just me and you Sandra and we haven't got to wait for everyone else who is watching live because they can pause us afterwards because they're not watching live so then I'm going to go in with cadmium yellow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave an area white and do the same here. Oh, that's, hang on, that's the wrong bit. 
there, leave that paler. I have to lift that out because I've just coloured in the wrong bit or missed out the wrong bit. I'm not awake yet. Nice yellow. So the more you glow glows is, is to do with how dark your darks are, isn't it? So we want that gap there. Go over the dog. The sea doesn't have to be as dark. The wet sand um, is up to you. But I think we need a bit of colour on there. But it goes more blue as we get down. Have you noticed? Look, it's quite grey in the sky. Grey and brown. But in the water, there's sort of blue tones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the yellow. Now don't forget, that's the, that's the actual sunlight. This is the light from my lamp. Um, I'm going to quickly go with a bit of ultramarine and cadmium red. To do a bit of more of a purple blue. And drop that in to act as a sort of sky in amongst the yellow it won't go as green because it's purple now I wouldn't normally drop that in at this point but I don't want that to be dry I know my sky is quite wet but I tend to um, take the pressure off so that was cadmium red with ultramarine in there and then the sky is going to be cadmium red with cadmium yellow Lots of colours today. What a nice, a nice sky. A nice bit of sun in it. Maybe I'll go with a bit more red up here. Because there's going to be purple in this, regardless. So it's it's fine that we've mixed this purple down here. Because we are going to use it in the sky as well. And this is the thing when you do wet in wet, isn't it? That you've got to work fairly quickly. Need to mix a bit more up there. And you can see my paper's still nice and damp, which is going to work really well to give us the sort of glows and clouds up here. Because don't forget, it dries 30% lighter. And because it's going to dry lighter, then we need to make it just that fraction darker. So it'll go spready and fuzzy. This is the only thing I'm going to do quickly. I might, I might drop a little bit more of this darker. Right down the bottom. And I might make a few of these clouds darker still. Just with the same colours, just less water, more paint. And you can see how much stronger it makes it. And it will help give a better delineation between the sky and the sea. Even though it's running into the sea at the moment, which is, which is absolutely fine.
can still see some of that glow. A few straighter lines across are going to help create a nice feel. We're going to keep this purple though because we will need it for everything else. But we need that to dry now. This is the loose bit. Then we're going to tidy it up. So if I clean my brush... I can just lift out the runny colour there and just soften some of that water in there that's gone a little bit cauliflowery, but that's okay because there's going to be more to this, maybe. Okay, let it dry. Dry. Might, I'll turn my lamp down just a fraction. There you go, you can see it's a little bit easier. dry brushing to do and all sorts of things Dear, I'm all bunged up today.
This is actually taking forever to dry today. How weird. Normally it dries so quickly, doesn't it? But it's fine. It is cool. We can do this. We might be able to do it without, but wouldn't it be cool if we could just do it with cadmium red, cadmium yellow, ultramarine and Payne's grey? <coughs> I'd be happy with that. I'm just choking on my coffee. Excuse me. <coughs> the lesson is, don't drink coffee while you're actually talking at the same time. Hello, Jill, watching from bed. Well, I don't blame you, to be honest. I'd be teaching from bed if I could. No, I wouldn't. I like I like to be up and at them. But by 10 o'clock, I, I, I used to, even when I was a teenager, you know, I used to say, um, I, I used to always give myself until double digits to get up even. So I wasn't an overly lazy teenager, but by the time it was 10 o'clock, I forced myself up. I'm just going to get the hairdryer on this because I've got a couple of areas that I really need to dry because I can't move forward. That area there is soaking wet. Absolutely sodden. What I love about using the hairdryer on watercolour is that you can see my paper is really cockled but as soon as the moisture starts to leave the paper shrinks again and it becomes flat. That is the beauty of using staples or pins to take to, to stick your watercolour paper down. Even if you like the nice crisp masking fluid edge, look a masking tape edge, what you can do is you can put your masking tape on your paper, then staple it to the to the board. And you still get the same effect. So it's really clever. I think I am going to set us the challenge of just ultramarine, cadmium red, cadmium yellow and Payne's grey. No. No burnt sienna. I think it might dull it down a little bit. So what I want to do is I want um, to use this orange colour which was cadmium red and cadmium yellow I'm going to switch to the number four round so I want to make a sort of orange colour and I'm going to bring it across in a sort of linear way leaving some light not perfectly horizontal which is good for me because I don't uh, fancy how did you get on with the uh, water splash Jill on Monday because we missed you joining live to mix a bit more up.
little bit more water as we get towards the thinner area. Because it's not moving here, this is where the waves dissipate. Or the ridges in the side, that's a big word for a Sunday morning, blimey. We'll put some purpley grey in later, but as you know, we build up all the tones, don't we? Light to dark. Now the, the dog's dark, so we can go... Over him. We want to keep it fairly light. I need to just go under my staple. Because the, the, the skill is to not staple it flat flat. So you've got somewhere to stick a knife or a pair of scissors underneath the staples. So it works. So I've got some light areas of orange, some dark areas of orange. Good. Were you a bit intimidated by it to start with? Because everybody else was. I think all these things, they look hard, don't they? Until they're broken down so you can understand how, it, how you get there. I think that's the important thing. looking just quickly looking while that's drying oh jill the jug's lovely i did add you to the group this morning i think um the jug i was saying to well sandra because there was nobody else joining at the time the jug is actually my favorite painting i've ever painted or taught and i've done metal classes before but i don't know that i just absolutely enjoyed that painting and i don't you know what i think at the time nobody else was in the class it was just me talking to nobody jackie jumped in i messaged her to say i'm on my own talking to nobody and um i uh, so you'll hear me say that uh, probably um moaning which i'm really good at by the way it's another skill it's on my cv um and uh i did think more people would join afterwards once they saw the photograph but i absolutely loved doing that lesson Oh, it's a frosty new forest with a horse next month in October. How lovely. And poppies of stormy clouds in November. And uh, a mountainous scene in December, which is on my birthday, by the way. Just saying, December the 13th. If you want to send gifts, food packages, or honey-flavoured Jack Daniels, by the way, I'm really into that. I thought I'd just like normal Jack Daniels, but then I tried the honey version. Wow. Still not dry. Well, that's okay. We've got loads of time. It's only 11 o'clock. We've only been playing for 35 minutes. I mean, painting. Do you know what, Sandra? Cauliflower skies are not ever too bad. If you're going to get a cauliflower in your painting, it's best to have it in the sky because it'll look like a cloud. That's my advice, really, 
it's fine to have a cauliflower sky. We've had loads of messages since I've been on telly. Weird. What else was weird? Yesterday, randomly, my phone gave me a notification. You get notifications off YouTube, um, you know, to say, oh, so-and-so's got a new video out or whatever. And then it was like uh, a random promoted thing from off YouTube saying, Visa is helping shopkeepers um, get through the pandemic. And it was a picture of me. It was my video, the advert. So it was how weird that my own phone is telling me about me. I don't know whether I'm the new Bob Ross or the new Alan Partridge, but you know, either way I'll take it. Oh, what? So you um, you watched the lesson. Hey, excellent. That's good. Uh, it's amazing, though, isn't it? How many um, how the layers just suddenly come together. It looks a bit rubbish at the start when you just slap on a bit of weird colour, um, but then when you build up the layers, then suddenly you've got a, you've got something that looks metallic. So clever. then so we want sort of tones of blues i'd love a squirrel in my pocket or on my shoulder that'd be nice wouldn't it maybe one day right now i said we'd keep this purple and um i'm going to just dilute it a little bit we're going to do a bit of dry brushing i know everyone hates dry brushing That's quite soggy, look, that's not dry at all. I really look forward to seeing what you um what you create with it, Jill. Do 
you know what, Sandra, since you said about cauliflowers, I've got, because I used to work in primary school, um, the Harvest Festival song, which is this sort of time of year, and it's cauliflowers fluffy and cabbages green. Um, I've got that in my head now. It will never leave. I feel like playing it just so you can all have an earworm of it as well today. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that cool. Because it will. Um, every time anybody mentions cauliflowers, you'll end up singing it in your head. So it's sort of dry brushing. I'm going to sort of. Lots of sort of. I need to sort my vocabulary out. That's what I need to do. Go a little bit darker on the horizon line. Just so we can separate where sky meets sea. So you're having a nice painting day today, Jill. Are you joining us tomorrow night? For the river view. It's a nice scene, actually. You probably saw it Thursday, did you? I don't want the sea to be too dark because, right, now I'll, I'll try and explain the way this picture works because the light is coming from there, so the top of the sea is light. However, this is a wave and it's coming forwards and the light is behind it. So the, the wave is actually fairly dark. So I'm going to do a little bit of sort of dry brushy stuff on this. And this is sort of like a, a, a an, another smaller wave that has sort of crashed and is probably receding, rather like my hairline, except more colourful. You can see how it's building up now, and then we can start with a little bit more purple um, in that wave, at the base of that wave, in this water, then it's the figures, then the uh, silhouettes. I'm not going to do much 
with this bit that the dog is on, I'm not going to do any more. Possibly. Possibly. I can never commit, can I? So, you know. Watched and prepped. Oh, a nice little three word slogan. Pay, watch, prep. Paint, four words. Lovely. I'm glad you're enjoying the classes, Jill. I really am. <coughs> right. So I haven't actually done added any more colour to this from when I squeezed out my squirrel if you notice <laughs> I uh, do a little a few little flicks here and there now here it's sort of it I'm gonna have to I am gonna have to mix a bit more paint up which is the ultramarine and cadmium red only because it's rather runny and it's not really conducive for dry brush but I don't want to, oh, I think I've added too much cadmium red now, yeah. What a wally. Because although it's dark, I want it nice and dark where it meets the bottom of the wave, but the bonus is, it doesn't have to be a straight line, because it's the sea. And it's been crashing. I'm going to go round my lady now. Make it a little bit darker. And then sort of dry brush. We don't want too much in the way of yellow sky showing through. Oh, I've gone very husky all of a sudden, haven't I? I could do chat lines now. Hello, and what are you painting today? Um, <laughs> oh dear, I would need to stay off the orange juice, I think. This is a family show. Okay. Again, a bit darker here, and this will really help start to bring things together a fraction. And I've still got cauliflowers fluffy in my head. Will it ever leave? And usually I'm not on my own in the building today. The tattoo studio's got some work on. It doesn't often work on a Sunday, but... Uh, he surprised me this morning because I wasn't expecting him in. And the door was not fully locked and the lights were on upstairs and I thought, what on earth's going on? I'm 
make it a little bit more wave like here now I don't know if that camera too will that show you a little bit of a better angle of my rubbish artwork yes it will And you see that can then start being added into the base area of the wet sand. There is every chance I may darken some of this again. Nah, Jill. Wait till lunchtime. I know she got exciting plans. We've got exciting plans today. Have it as a dressing gown day, maybe. That's what I'm painting in. <laughs> oh, you'll never know. I'm not. Look, I've got a shirt on. Look. some straighter purple lines. Very stripey, isn't it? Okay, Jill, have a lovely day. Thanks for joining us from Britain. Did you have a cup of tea in bed, by the way? I haven't had that for a long time. Got no one to make me one, so I have to get up. So once I'm up to make one, I'm not going to go back to bed. Maybe I'll start auditioning for people. Now I'm famous. <laughs> oh dear. I worry about myself, I really do. This will go a little bit softer, a bit more watery. with the purple color. So it's actually a lot darker on this side and this side, and you want this bit to stay lighter. Let's, let's back out a little bit. Just green. The kids always used to like the one bit that was like broad beans are sleeping in the blankety bed. <sighs> Maybe I've officially lost it today, Sandra. I 
and you were here to witness it. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't want this. It's really tricky, this bit, because we need this to be dark. But we don't want it to be darker than the wave shadows. However, we also don't want the wave shadows to be too dark because they'll just look like really weird stripes across the sky. So it is, it's a bit of a balance and I think we'll have a cup of tea now. Um, I think it's time. I might use some of this diluted purple. We'll mix some more purple up after coffee. But I might use just a little bit of it as a sort of dry brush thing thing on here so it, it doesn't look like the dog is floating and it's sort of on sand it is fun to be different isn't it I've never been a sheep my whole life I've always um, been brought up to celebrate individualities and just enjoy yourself. My mum was just the same. My dad was more reserved. But I think that's more of a, a traditional working class black country attitude for the, for the men, as it were. Because my mum was very... I mean, he supported all of my stuff, my dad, absolutely. He really did. He'd drive me to exhibitions and spend his last few pounds on helping me get things framed. Right, I'm going to let that dry while I go pop the kettle on. It's exactly half past eleven, which is perfect. Oh, the music's finished. I'm just about to go. And then I just heard this, the birds finish, so let's stick them back on. We get in there. Really all purples and paints greys for the next bit.
Right, I'm back. Still letting this dry. We've got plenty of time. We're only an hour in, but generally I find that these lessons are the online lessons because we're not having long issues of me having to make teas and coffees or do teas and coffee orders or that kind of thing. I'm finding that the two hour classes, the two and a half hour classes, um, last about an hour and a half, two hours. Okay, so we're going to make the purple, but we're going to add a little bit of Payne's Grey to the next bit. So, oh, where's my brush? There it is. Um, basically, what where I want to darken on these cloud th these clouds these waves is because if that's the light and this is the wave coming forward the darkest bit is this area here where it's closer to the sea and the same for this one and that brush was wet which was a little bit annoying because it's now wet the bit that I didn't want wetted but never mind I shouldn't point with a brush should I I should learn my lesson so I've got a dark purple there and now a little bit of Payne's Grey Da, 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 da. And then we can really go to town right at the base and sort of bounce it around a little bit. So it's not, you know, it's churning water. We, we all know what waves look like, but we don't actually spend enough time staring at them, do we? So I, I want the dark bit, the dark bit to stay there but it can't be as dark as when we put our figures in so this is the thing gosh I've had such a busy week it won't end will it because I'll be starting again tomorrow morning it never ends Never-ending artery. Ah, 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 ah. Now, do I want to just? Yeah, just a little. That's that's helped create quite a bit of depth in that.
That's got to dry. I may well switch to camera two for the next bit, but you can see. Let's move that down now. Okie doke, so that should, they've still got little bits that are wet, that's annoying. So we're going neat Payne's grey now. I think, yeah. So I want it to look, it, this has still got to look human, this has got to look human, don't forget. Um... So we'll have to do a bit of lifting out and stuff. I'm going to do a little bit more in terms of... her face. And I, I, I do want to do... Um, A face. And I will be lifting out a little bit as well, but, um, pop that in I've added the I've only added the paints gray to where the purple is just to save me having to use more of my tile than I need to so we're nowhere near done with this lady because the lights coming from there I want her to to be slightly lifted out it looks two tone at the moment because half of it's dry and half of it's still a bit wet Let 
that dry. Because I want to sort of lift out her fa features, make her skin a little bit paler than the clothes that she's wearing. So you can see how she is darker than um, that wave. She's still a little bit damp, but I do want to give that. So I'm going with a damp brush. And just lifting off a little color. Because I want to show that she's not looking at us. She's looking at me. I once did a wonderful, wonderful class, and I'm going to be doing it again on the um, next, uh, later this year, maybe. And it was so lovely because we did. It was a a vintage couple from the forties, um, leaning on a fence. The guy was sitting on the fence, and she was um, leaning up against it. And what we did with that is we, we actually did Payne's Grey for the whole thing. And then we proceeded to lift out the colour to um, give us the highlights. A bit like I'm doing here. The dog will just be in silhouette, by the way, so we won't need to do the highlights because it's either a black or a brown Labrador. Uh, that's, what's wrong with that? That's her arm there. That's her arm there. That's right, that's better. I thought I'd um, lengthen her body a little bit. I might do something just with her hair, just to sort of flick it up a little. And I've got the angle of the dress wrong as well. That needs to come down like that that's better but it seems that this area has, has gone a lot lighter than i intended which i don't want to do in 
front of shoulder there, but I don't want it to be fabric. I want it. I want it to be fabric rather than. But then equally, she is further away. I'll see what that looks like when it's dry. Because she's got a bag on her back. Still taking forever to dry, but never mind, it's fine, we've got loads of time, absolutely loads of time. <coughs> it's in, in its essence, it is quite a simple picture to, uh, to get. So don't forget, this is not a shadow, it's the reflection. If she was going to have a shadow, the shadow would be on the water here. I might do it as a, as a way to show you. So a reflection is a mirror image, a shadow of a reflection or a shadow of an object is not the same as a reflection. So I'll go through that again. So the light is hitting the dog. So if it was a shadow, the shadow would go that way because people often get shadow and reflection the wrong way around. A reflection is always a mirror image. A shadow is whichever direction the sun is shining. So the shadow does not alter uh, the, the reflection does not alter depending where the sun is. It is always mirror. The shadow is what alters. I don't think I helped. Just saying that because I got confused myself, but I know what I mean. Still wet, that's still soaking wet there. I don't get it. So, when I do my weekly um, montage of classes, last, this week just gone, and you're having to miss one off because I can only get nine in the square. 
and we did 10 classes this week um, plus today so today we'll go on to next week's class thank you Sandra you are correct in that absolutely so I'll show you what I mean and I'll try and do it very lightly um, so because the lights coming from there there's a reflection the shadow on the water will come from that angle like that there's a bit of a glaze not that you need to do it because there isn't one in the picture but um, just to show you so that's reflection that's shadow because that's the light source Whew. I'll be doing the dog in a minute just with Payne's grey but I'm doing the dog as dark as I can because I want the reflection to be a little bit paler I'm not doing him fluffy or anything you could if you wanted to but my bet is he's been in the sea so the fluff isn't fluff. Do the outline of them first. need this to be as dark as possible so that when I do the reflection it won't look the same Looks like he's got a colour on. Okay. I don't want to I'm not gonna add the reflection either until that's dry because I don't what I don't want to happen, because the reflection is obviously right up to the feet. And while this is wet, if I go in with the reflection as it's drying, we'll get cauliflowers shooting up his legs. Which will look really interesting, but not actually be what we're after. And I might do a few dark bits in the water with it later. But I want to see how it looks. Come on, have a drink of tea. Coffee, rather.
still soaking wet. But as I say, we've got lo loads of time, so there's no need to rush. I'm going to have to get the hairdryer on it in a minute because I'm getting a bit impatient, but it's fine. I don't know why I'm getting impatient. I shouldn't need to. There's plenty of time, so it's not really essential. But I just know what I'm like. dry it. It's mainly the lower part that I need to make sure is dry. I need it so I want the panes gray to be pale and it's part of it is lighter straight down so the legs are solid then as you, and the and the head but as you get further into the body that's when it starts to break a little and become a little bit wobbly I don't want cauliflowers in his legs. Old cauliflower legs, I'll call him. Come in for your dinner, cauliflower legs. So bring some of the lines out as well. Just so it's not just a wibbly line. But there are some additional bits where it's catching. a little bit more in the foreground I think but 
that drugs one in on it. That feels like a cauliflower. So we're nearly done, just a few more things to do. I'm gonna stay with this Payne's grayish purpley color to do a few little lines and, 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 and ripples into the water. And it'll just make it feel a little bit more foreground. Especially if you can bring some of them across that reflection. A bit like when we do reflection in the water, to be honest. There you go, look. It's amazing how it changes, isn't it? Once the darks are in. Add any more? Maybe just a little bit. I've got a feather on me. Look at that! I've got a feather on my uh, on my paintbrush. I don't know where that came from. You know, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm going to do any more to this. Believe it or not, quite an early finish for us. But I, I honestly don't see the point in labouring a lesson to force it to last as long as the the scheduled time, because all you end up doing is just fiddling and faffing, and then once you start doing that, you become a just adder, don't you? And then you ruin your work, which we don't want to see. Um, I'm not. I don't know if I need to put some darker purple in the sky in the sea area though. Um, and the reason why is because I'm worried that this band looks too dark. Let me use some of that colour and just go across a little. dry brushish and 
add a ring. Lovely verb. I have one student who says, I'm snaking it. Which is also excellent. Oh, that has helped. That has made a difference. But you can see how the dog really stands out on that light background. Really works well, doesn't it? Especially with the broken reflection. Yeah, you know what I think I think I think we're done. Yeah, I think so. There's not much more I can actually do to this now. Um obviously I, I will look at it again to see what it looks like when it's dry. Um, because this area here to me is the area that I want to look at because the, the wave is so dark, which it is in the picture. You know, if you, if you look at that compared to that, it's the same. Whether I use a little bit of this purple colour just to dull this one down a little. And I'm, I'm not addering, I'm not. We're discussing. So it's not as punchy. And maybe get a little bit of orange, a dull orange in that here. That's better. It's all right, I was just directly comparing it because I'm just as guilty as you lot for not looking properly. And I was just looking at the, the difference. So that's pale, that's dark, that's slightly darker, the, the lower wave, than the, than the sea. So by just washing it with that bit of purple and orange, it's given us that staggered layer. Because that would be casting a shadow on that, whether we want it or not. Mm. Yes, I think that's it then. <clears throat> Slightly under two hours today, but I hope you'll forgive me. I'm sure next month will be trickier, because that tends to be how I work. What is it? Oh, frosty new forest and a horse. Now, it's not a close-up of a horse. It is a horse in the distance of a forest. Um, so it'll be quite a bit of dry brushing, and we'll try and make it feel magical and autumnal, as we'll be in the grip of autumn then by, um, by the second week of October, won't we? So that's the 10th, no. 11th of October. So coming up this week, tomorrow morning, we have uh, a demonstration of Snowdonia waterfall in acrylics. Tomorrow evening is watercolours, and it's a river view. Uh, Tuesday evening is a hedgehog in pencil. Wednesday afternoon drawing class is an old fishing boat on a beach. Thursday morning art for the actress is a bird in biro. Thursday afternoon is a sunrise, so a nice sunrise scene. Um, there is nothing on Thursday evening. Oh, Thursday evening there is. There is a talk on surrealism. Friday morning is a week three, the last week of Women Artists Art History course. Friday afternoon is doing um, the moonlit scene with the hot air balloons by Moonlight. Nothing on Saturday. Nothing on Sunday. Um, so that gives you the week ahead so thank you so much for joining me whenever you watch this i'll really look forward to seeing what you create with this simple scene and um i hope to see you all again soon so i'll probably see you monday night sandra won't i um for the class then tomorrow night i mean yes it's monday tomorrow isn't it yeah all right so thanks ever so much for your company um take care and i'll see you all soon bye bye everyone bye bye